we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the third installment of the Money in the Biz reading. Okay, so today we're going to talk about work hard for self or work hard for someone else, but you got to choose your heart. Okay, so you can either work hard for yourself or you can work hard for someone else. Choose your heart. It almost gives me the, in my mind's eye, um, it, get, it it takes me to a place of thinking about the eight of pentacles, okay? The eight of pentacles is the wash, rinse, repeat. Do the same thing over and over and over and over again. You're, you are the wheel. You are continuously turning. You're making something work, right? Until you get it to the nine of pentacles where you're independent from doing such hard work, labor. Um, and now you're at a place of, it working on its own and maybe you can even delve into something else or you can have time for leisure activity or project or maybe even self-improvement okay um so choose your heart either you're gonna work hard for self or you're gonna work hard for someone else choose your heart this day choose your heart who are you working hard for self or you a lot of people want to be self-employed because they feel like it will unlock them to, you know, having more time for themselves. They can wake up late. They can go to sleep late. They can work when they want to. They can. Now, some self-employment gets you to that place. There are only, you know, a handful of self-employment industries where you can, you know, uh, have such a lax um, schedule or routine. But anytime you're starting something, you have to get it 150%, whether it's a new job for someone else or it is your own, your very own business for self, right? So we need to always have that mindset of work hard, especially in the beginning, either for self or someone else, but you have to choose. And if the beauty of it is you get to choose how hard do you want to go for the job or for self? Okay. Um, the cards here pulled out. I said, okay, so if this is the message today, Spirit, what do you want to tell them in regards to working hard for self or for someone else? So it says the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. All right, so this is what I was getting, um, or this is what they were giving me. Um, so when you choose to work hard for someone else, the knight of cups um you, you're always a knight you're, you're never getting to that king or that queen status okay your your best efforts your creativity is then handed off okay you hand it off to that job you come up with a creative idea of how we can streamline the hr process boom but it belongs to the job it belongs to someone else 
The Knight of Cups also talks about being unrealistic in new endeavors, um, whether creative endeavors, love, whatever, but it talks about being unrealistic, not wanting to see it through or not being able to maintain. So some of you have started, will start business um, venture opportunity, but you won't finish. So this could be something like a false start okay and not being able to maintain it because you have unrealistic expectations what is an unrealistic expectation in anything but definitely in self-employment okay i've been doing my own business for one month why haven't i made a uh, hundred thousand dollars why haven't i made ten thousand dollars why haven't i made a thousand dollars you know what i'm done with this i'm going back i'm going back to whatever i came from unrealistic expectations everything starts small everything most things start small um it's about learning the learning curve getting yourself out there there's so many different components facets to business uh startup and growth but un being unrealistic is setting the bar so high that it's almost as if you really didn't want to do this. You know, you, you're so unrealistic and, and not tapped in to the point where it could be, it could be read as you really don't want to be self-employed because you're not, you're not taking a realistic approach. Um, it's funny because there's a scripture that says, I am near to all who call upon me to activate, but they call in truth in realism so even God wants you to come to him in truth and realism you know and I'm paraphrasing um, but so so if God is asking for us if you call upon him to activate to do for you to to uh, turn on right he still wants you to be realistic in your approach when you come to him if you're coming to him you're homeless on the street um, and you're saying, you know, I, I would love, I'm praying to you, God, to be a millionaire by next week. Okay. Truth and realism. So, you know, um, spirit wants us to be realistic. And sometimes when you are unrealistic, um, you just stop, you, you know, a false start. You don't move forward. Okay. So be a re realistic, do your research. Okay. Um, that's going to help you be realistic also. The lover's card. So when you work for somebody else, you never really take the, that opportunity to choose, you know, that life alteration, to choose um, to be self-employed is a life alteration. Like you're completely upsetting your life. You're turning it upside down. You're flipping it upside down. Now, upset can be a good, you know, a good thing. You're going to, you know, upset something to where maybe it goes up, right? Upset. Um, so... You never choose to do that. You choose to put all your best energy, your best effort into somebody else's business, into somebody else's growth. All of your ideas get transferred, transposed to somebody else's, um, somebody else's empire. Okay. The, the lovers also talks about partnerships. So it's like you stay at a knight's position. You stay doing for the king, for the business. Um, and you're in a partnership with them. You're, you're the doer. You run. You run the errands. You make the calls. You schedule the meetings. You show up. You this. You put all their energy effort into that. And it's a partnership. Okay? And you're going to get what is due unto you uh, for being a worker, for being a knight. For the knight, you know, in, in yesteryear, in me medieval times, you know, he wasn't getting paid or uh, compensated like a king. He didn't have um, king's dominion. You know, he didn't, he didn't call the shots. He took direction. And that's what you're, you will do for a lifetime if you never choose to make, follow your uh, creative endeavor and make um, a business out of it. The business is you, you know. Also, unrealistic expectations. Everybody thinks, okay, I'll go into business for myself and I'm supposed to be like a multimillionaire. 
if not this year, if not in five years, eventually I'm supposed to be a millionaire. That's the only way that this is going to be successful. Well, there's several business owners, myself, you know, um, I'm a thousandaire. I'm comfortable, but I'm, I'm not a millionaire, you know, um, and that's not my mindset to where, oh, I'm only successful if I have, you know, if I've made a million dollars, if I make a million dollars, you know, because then you, you'll always be chasing the money and you, you may have made a hundred thousand dollars and you're like, oh, that's not good enough. You $200,000. Oh, that's not good enough. I need to make a million dollars. That's the success. That's the mark. Everybody's not meant for that. Some of us are being shunted, pushed towards our life purpose. And we might even have to take a pay cut in our life. Or at least initially, you know, so are you, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you, what are you willing to do to unlock and unleash? You know, maybe you'll sacrifice having to take a pay cut as you do your self-employment, right? But now you can live life on your own terms. If you want to start work at 11 a.m. and or 7 p.m., you know, um, you can do that, you know, uh, but, you know, it's the trade-off. What, what does freedom look like for you? And then also, um, how are you helping? How are you serving? So anyway, that's a tangent, but we will keep going. So it's a partnership when you decide to work for someone else. If you decide to work for yourself, um, you have to make that life alteration. And it might be, you know, you, you have to make a choice. You have to analyze. You have to make sure you have a system in place in regards to going into self-employment because then we have the six of pentacles money coming in the opportunity for wealth right money coming in money going out it's pretty balanced okay um loans and um maybe even uh donations charity people giving you money people wanting to be a part of your cause um because they see how passionate you are about a certain thing or about this new business that you have founded um, when you work for somebody, you get what is due unto you. You're always in the beggar type of position. Not that you're begging your job for money. No, no, no. You're in the beggar type of position because you're waiting for the, the, cause in the traditional deck, you have the merchant giving the beggars, you know, a little money. So you're always in the waiting position, waiting for to be paid every two weeks or every month or every week. Um, you're always in that quote unquote beggar position. It's not that you're begging, but you're in the place of, you know, you're waiting for your recompense. You're waiting for your compensation for the work that you've done, for the creative measures that you've given to this job, this corporation, for this partnership that you're in. And sometimes you may not, you may need more money. You may not get you know, pay what you're worth, what you, what you desire, what you feel as if you are worth also. Um, and in self-employment, it may start slow. It may start as, okay, money coming in, money going out. There's not a whole lot of surplus here. Um, but that it doesn't mean that it will always be that way. It just means that you found balance here. You found balance, you know, um, you could even find your clients by way of them wanting to partner with you because what you're doing, you know, it serves a cause or they see the cause or they see how great you are at it or they see how um, you're so passionate about it. So they just want to throw their money at you. You know, um, you're doing something that maybe they could never do or that they're too afraid to do. Um, so people just want to patronize you for that reason. Okay. Um, then we have the eight of cups. So when you are, you know, when you partner with job, career, um, corporation, you sometimes find yourself wandering. You feel like you're on autopilot. They're, what can set in is discontentment, boredom. Knowing your soul, knowing that y you, you're longing for so much more that you should be somewhere else with the eight of cups. It talks about the journey, wandering, like just kind of autopilot, but your, your emotions in your mind is wondering, like you, you're just showing up for, but you know that you could be somewhere else doing something else, something so much more and greater. And there's always a, a level of 
discontent or boredom or feeling like you should be. I should be doing that thing that, oh man, I love to do that. You know, um, it also could be dreaming. This is self analysis too. You're always analyzing yourself. Am I where I'm supposed to be? Am I getting paid what I should be getting paid? And then when you're on, um, when you're self-employed, the eight of cups, once again, you're still wandering. You're on that soul journey. The universe is taking you on that journey to learning. They're taking you on that journey or that cycle of perfecting yourself, your emotional self. Okay. Um, taking you on that journey so that you're getting where you're supposed to be life purpose direction. Um, you're just going with the flow, a journey of unknown length, not knowing where you're going to land, but knowing that the universe has you cradled in its hands. So you're going to land somewhere great, right? So that's, that's, um, the eight of cups in regards to either partnering with a job or a career or partnering for yourself with spirit to do your own thing. Okay. Um, the ebb and flow of life and then getting to hopefully the nine of cups, right? Beautiful. Um, when you partner with a job, a corporation, whatever, five of cups, you could suffer loss. You could suffer job loss. They could hand you a pink slip. They can say you're fired. They can lay you off. They can cut your hours. You could suffer loss. Your, you know, your life, um, your career is in someone else's hands. Your money making opportunity expansion is in the hands of someone else. You still have something over you or you still have to go through or it can, um, people make decisions about uh, your life for you. You don't make those executive decisions. Okay. Um, yeah. With the five of cups here, there could be loss because it's like you don't control it. It's out of your control. The fives are about change. The five in, re in, re in regards to self-employment, especially with coupled with the eight of cups, sometimes you want to feel like, is it worth it? I've sacrificed so much. I'm sacrificing so much. Um, your emotions may get stirred here. You may think of the past and you may think of going backwards. And this is the time where you have to be under some guidance, some tutelage, some mentorship, a business mentorship so that they can push you forward and get you through that emotional tough time because it comes for those in business for themselves and those who work a job. But it's not what is happening to you. It's how you respond to it. Stimuli, you know, do you, do you run back to because you're scared because you're in fear or do you stand strong knowing that fives don't last forever or, or tough times don't last forever or um, the fives are temporary. It doesn't last forever. It's, you know, it could definitely, um, if you can see it through, it'll, it'll go away. How can you mitigate the circumstances, the situation? The page of wands at the bottom of the deck says you get, basically you can go look it up. It says you live life on your own terms. You get to do how, what you want, how you want to do it. You get to redecorate, reshape, reform your entire life. Um, exploration, you get to explore. Um, this is a good time for, you know, to start a business. If you want it to, if you pull the page of wands, it's a time to explore. It's a time to be active. It's, it's a time to be courageous. Um, it's the conditional statement also. If I do then, or if then, you know, it's an if then type of situation, you know, um, if you take the next step, then, you know, um, with the page of wands also this, it talks about promotion, you know, it talks about courageousness and promotion. It talks about, okay, I heard honor and it talks about, so you have the honor because you'll be so, you know, um, ecstatic and you'll be so confident in knowing that you did something on your own. It talks about coming out of tough times. It talks about coming out of being on autopilot. It talks about coming out of every day being a struggle. It talks about once again, living life on your own terms. You've unlocked or you've unleashed something within you. Um, that's for self-employment. Definitely the page of wands, um, in terms of partnering with a, a business, because you know, our initial statement is, um, you're either going to work hard for yourself 
Are you going to work hard for someone else? Choose your heart, right? Um, the page of wands in regards to working for someone else is, um, you know, exploring. You always, this is, a, this could even be like talks of promotion and putting you up and starting something. But with the page of wands, it talks about energy that can disperse easily, that it can go away and never really manifest. So maybe when you partner with a job, with a career, it's always like you're gunning for that next thing or that promotion or that, you know, whatever, and you never really get it. Or there's talks of it. Um, it's just talk. And it's never really made real. Um, they get you excited about, this is also amping somebody up, rev, rev, revving them up. I don't know if the job, you know, jobs do that. You know, where they have those lunchings, where they get everybody fired up about this new project and this new opportunity for the company, for the, you know, and then um, they get everybody fired up about it. Um, and, and they promise so many different things after the fact, and maybe it just never really happens. You know, good intentions. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? So it's just like um, maybe working for somebody, it's just like good intention, but it never really manifests. And then the page of wands working for yourself, it is hell, life on your own terms. You do you, you can explore. You've come through a heavy time, a karmic time. You're letting go, you're releasing. You're now off of auto autopilot. You're not just working to be working. You have direction now of the page of wands. And um, it's all about you and what you do with that raw energy, that fire, okay? So I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity in regards to working for somebody else, working for yourself. You're gonna work hard for yourself. You're going to work hard for someone else. But the beauty of it is you get to choose your heart. I've given you an idea of what it looks like to partner with um, a job, a career. And then I've also given you the idea of partnering with spirit to get on a life purpose. Okay. To start your own thing, do your own thing, monetize those gifts that you have within you. Start something. Okay, unleash, unlock something within you. If you're having a hard time figuring out what that is, I would implore you to, to go ahead and sign up for the KTMG. Keep the momentum going. I got you all fired up, but we got to keep the momentum going. Keep the momentum going. Monthly conference call where you are surrounded with business-minded individuals like yourself. Um, I, I provide valuable information so you can either start your business, further it, um, come out of a stagnant place um, to where you can get fired up to get um, started to, to uh, continue. So right now, the monthly conference call is uh, you guys took to it like wildfire. So I, I thank you and I can't wait to um, provide you with you know, the insight that I have, um, and maybe even, you know, get you to a place where you can even get partnered with people who can help you further. You know, I, I, you know, I do have that, um, those contacts. So, um, join the KTMG monthly conference call right now. There is a wait list, get on the wait list because what we're doing is, um, we're opening up the wait list for, um, about five people each and every day so that we can kind of scale how many people are on the call. Um, so join the wait list. You can then get an email like, okay, now you're in, you know, so um, join the wait list. This is the first step to unlock and to unleashing. Okay. If you're feeling moved to do so, do so. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to um, the money and biz um, reading here. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do a collective reading that I answer your questions. Um, and if you took something from the reading, you could give back. Buy me a coffee, you know? Let the exchange happen. Let the good energy. If you feel like this is good energy, you want some of this, let the exchange happen, okay? Um, if you're feeling moved to do so. Um, I want to say shout out to New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, London, Florida, Florida coming in also, okay? Um, book your own reading just like this one. If you wanna drill down on where you are in your career, 
like you can get your own personal reading at the website the link is below and readings are 40 percent off use code 40 off at checkout invest in self if you have the money invest in you take it serious and move forward okay thank you many blessings to you take care